Today we're grilling beer brats on a charcoal grill using an iron skillet. Tailgating Wisconsin style? Hey, this is Ricer from Dead Broke Barbecue Wisconsin and welcome back to the channel. But if you're new here, we try to help you amplify and enhance your backyard barbecue fun. In today's video, we're gonna grill some beer brats and finish them in a cast iron pan with some great beer and onion broth. Now here in Wisconsin, people eat brats all the time. Kids even eat them for breakfast. There's a lot of people with German heritage that live in Wisconsin, so we eat a lot of brats. They're popular and they're great and they're simple, but everybody does different things to their brats. Some people want cheese in them, some people want beer, some people want jalapenos, some people just want them plain and they eat them on a plate with no bun. So grab your charcoal chimney, Hans, and fill her full, cause we're gonna start grilling. Today I'm using Kingsford 100% natural lump briquettes. And we're gonna use a full chimney and light it now. If you haven't seen my other videos, I use a little cat dish to kind of get these little starter cubes up a little closer to the charcoal. The cubes are lit, charcoal's full, set it on the center and set a timer for 20 minutes. I also have the vents wide open. All right, let's go back inside and slice some onions. Our chimney's all lit and now we're gonna slice up two yellow onions. I'm gonna show you the way that I do it when I'm actually gonna cook the onion. Okay, so we're gonna start by just cutting the tail off. It sits flat. I'll go ahead and cut it right down the center of the roof. And obviously, we're gonna peel this one up. I take off one layer of onion, and now what we're gonna do is we can go ahead and just cut off the root. We're gonna cut this now to follow the lines, all right? So watch your knuckles, get to this point, you can flip it on its side and just start over. Repeat the process on this one. Peel off one layer of onion, cut the root off, follow the lines. So when we cook these, we're gonna have nice, long strands. Cut the tail off. You get it nice and flat, hit the center. The outside layer is usually kind of tough, in my opinion. And for us meat guys, let's call it your cutting with the grain. The grain and the lines on the onion. Okay, there's our two sliced yellow onions. The four main ingredients that we're using today are just your standard Johnsonville brats that you can find just about anywhere. Two yellow onions sliced, two sticks of butter, and our favorite beer. And the beer that we're using is Central Waters Brewery Company. It's made right in Amherst, Wisconsin. And the concoction mixture that I'm using is one-third Rift IPA and two-thirds Honey Blonde Ale. Central Waters has a retail shop that's open Monday through Friday, and their tap room is open Friday through Saturday. The retail shop also offers a beer to go. Just pick out your favorite brand, get a crawler, and they'll spin a lid on it for you to take it home. It's been 20 minutes. Let's head to the grill and dump our charcoal. Charcoal's burning nice and clean. We're gonna dump it now, but don't forget your cat dish. Okay, we're gonna spread our coals out so we cover about three quarters of the kettle. Put our grill grate in, and then take some aluminum foil with your tongs, clean it off. Now we're gonna take our cast iron pan and set it on the hot side with a little canola oil in it. We wanna start with canola oil and we'll add the butter later. Set it in. Now that pan's gonna get very hot. I always wear a couple cotton gloves, but if you don't have them, make sure you grab one of your mitts because that handle's gonna bite you if you don't have something to protect your hands. I always start out with a couple tablespoons of canola oil and get that nice and warm, and then I'm gonna add the onion. Okay, we're gonna put our onions in now. You're gonna start getting these onions translucent and start caramelizing them a little bit. All right, you're gonna wanna stir these around a lot because this pan is getting hot. We're gonna throw a couple sticks of butter in and let that melt and then add our beer. Our butter's all melted up and now we're just gonna get this simmering before we add the beer. The great thing about making beer brats is everything that can't fit in the pan you have to drink, so always buy the big cans. I bought crawlers. And now we're gonna add the two thirds of our honey blonde ale. Our one third of our Rift IPA. 
Now that we have our onions, butter, and beer simmering, we're gonna cook the brats. Now I'm cooking a lot of brats this way today, but the cast iron pan's only gonna hold about half of them. So we're gonna be doing two rounds. Now slide the cast iron pan over to the cool zone and get your brats all put on and put on the lid. Make sure that that vent is wide open. I love tailgating season. Five minutes is up, so now it's time to flip them and rotate them if they haven't been cooked as much on one side or the other. I should have maybe kept some of this back and didn't use so much on the brats. This stuff is tasty. We want to stir up our beer broth and start flipping these over. All right, they're flipped and we rotated the ones that needed to be. Now I like my brats a little more charred. I think they taste better, especially when they go into the beer. It starts to dissolve that outside crispy crust. Put the lid back on for another five minutes. Now here's a pro tip for you. Don't put your beer too close to the kettle or you'll start speaking German. Guten Tag? Wie geht's es Ihnen? Haben Sie große Bier bitte? All is klar. Okay, now we're gonna check them to see what they look like on the other side. Oh yeah, these are ready. Now that they're cooked the way that we like them, we're gonna start putting them in the beer broth. Now that we got our brats in that onion beer broth, carefully grab the handle with your gloves or your mitt and then slide that cast iron pan back over the charcoal and put on the lid. We're gonna let them sit for about 10 minutes to suck in all that beer broth. As you can see, that broth is starting to boil. These are gonna be tasty. Now our 10 minutes are up, but I ran it for another 10 minutes to be honest with you huh? because we're filming and sometimes when you're filming, things don't go as smooth as you want it to. But typically it only takes about 10 minutes with the charcoal that you got in there. These brats are all simmered They've soaked up the onion beer broth, and they're ready to be devoured. We'll meet you in the kitchen. Okay, to sum up these beer brats, we wanna start with a full chimney. Slice and cook up a couple onions, then add your beer. Cook your brats for about four to five minutes aside, but it just depends on how hot your charcoal is. And finally, add the brats to your beer and onion broth, and let them braise for at least 10 minutes. These brats are done, and they're served up. I'm gonna dig in. I'm gonna start with this one. We're gonna take a little mustard, little dabble on the side, take a little ketchup. All right, dig in. They're juicy, cooked through, tasty. You can taste the Central Waters beer. They're awesome. Got a little messy with my condiments, so I hammered that one down. I gotta try another one. Again, a little mustard. And a little cat soup. And a little trick that I do, I roll them open wide. All right, number three, I can't stop. Mustard and some ketchup. And then do a finger roll. Gotta wipe off the paw. Delicious. Now when you're tailgating, I just showed you a very simple recipe to wow your friends. Trust me, they'll love it. I'm such a messy Marvin, I got condiments everywhere. All right, so what everybody's waiting for, let's do the top comments from last week's Grill Great video. Number one is Good Eats with the Noob. He says, Harbor Freight, my second favorite place in the world. Great information on the Grill Grates, just got mine two weeks ago and haven't used them yet. Nicely done, Ricer, and thanks for sharing, sir. Well, you don't have to call me sir, noob, but hey, thanks a lot. I guess you're respecting your elder. And if you guys are looking for some good Cajun recipes, check out his channel. He's got some winners there. And the last one comes from Grill Great themselves. Outstanding. Love the crickets. A Weber kettle and Grill Grates is an unbeatable combination. Now that comment sums it up best. I am 100% satisfied with my Grill Grates. Thank you for developing such a great product for all of us backyard barbecue enthusiasts. Plus, thanks for subscribing to Dead Broke Barbecue. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, become a subscriber, and turn on that notification bell. Thanks for watching. Haben Sie guten Tag and auf Wiedersehen. They're celebrating that my brats are done. Oh, hot. It's really hot. Woo. Well said. Case is closed. <laughs>